first of kingdom animal. So in this case, <coughs> we have all the groups that is the king, the phylum, as well as the class uh, belongs to the kingdom animalia and the examples. So this is how the sketch looks like. The sketch looks like this. <clears throat> so this sketch, we are going to list all the nine phylum of animal kingdom, starting from the periphera. So we have the first group called periphera. Periphera. We have the second group called the Ninerians or the Colenterata. Colenterata. We have the next group. After the Colenterata, we have the Platyhemides. The Platyhemides. Then we also have the Nematoda. The Nematoda. That is the Nematode. Then after the Nematode, we have the Anelida. The Anelida. That is the Anelid. Then next, we have the Arthropoda. Before the Arthropoda, we have the Mollusca. We have the Mollusca. The Mollusca is somewhere here. The Mollusca. Um, we have the Arthropoda. The Arthropoda is the largest group of animal kingdom. Arthropoda. Then, after the Arthropoda, we have the Echinodermata. We have the Echinodermata. The Echinodermata. And lastly, the most advanced group, which is the Corotor. Corotor. So, these are the nine main groups of animal kingdom. So let me do the coding. We have the Polyphera. We have the Polyphera. We have the Platyhemides. We also have the Nematode. After the Nematode, we move to the Anelida. And after the Anelida, we have the Mollusca. Then after the Mollusca, we have the Arthropoda. After the Arthropoda, we have the Echinodermata. The Echinodermata. And lastly, the Corotor. So now, we want to move to the classes of each of these groups. Let's start from the periphera. The periphera are divided into three main groups. We have the cast spongy. We have the one called cast spongy. Cast spongy. Example of the cast spongy is leucosolenia. 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 We also have the hyaline spongy, that is the second group. The hyaline spongy. And a typical example of this is the pectelle. <coughs> E.g. is Eplectella. And we also have another example. Another class that is the last class, Demospongy. Demospongy. 
and this group example is spongilla spongilla so those are the groups of coryphera now we move to the cholenterata the cholenterata are also divided into three main groups we have the uh, hydrozoa the hydrozoa example of the hydrozoa is hydra obelia we also have another group of the quenetrata that is the skyphozoa example of the skyphozoa is jellyfishes aurelia jellyfishes then the last group is called the anthozoa anthozoa an example of the anthozoa is the sea animal sea animal then after the cholenterata we move to the platyhemides the platyhemides is also divided into three main groups we have the turbellaria turbellaria example of the turbellaria is the planaria planaria we also have the trematoda trematoda example of the trematoda is Fasciola, Fasciola hepatica, Fasciola gigantica, that is the liver food. And the last group now is Cestoda, Cestoda. Example of the Cestoda is the tapeworm, tapeworm, tapeworm. That is a, this is liver food, this tape one. We have the tinea solium and tinea seginata. Tinea solium and tinea seginata. Then we move to the nematode. The nematode are divided into two main groups. We have the uh, adenophora and the seconate. Example of the Sakanate is Ascaris. That is the uh, A-Fasmid or the Fasmid, Ascaris. The Fasmid and the A-Fasmid. Adenophorin. Adenophorin. Example is a uh, Enopus. Enopus. So we are now moving to the Anelida. Anelida have three main groups. Anelida are divided into three main groups. So we have one, we have two, we have three. So we'll talk about the Anelida. We have the polychaetes. Under the polychaetes, example of polychaet is the Bristol wall. Bristol wall. Bristol wall. Then we also talk about the oligochaetes. That's the earth one. Oligochaetes. Example of the oligochaetes is the atworm. Atworm. And we also have the last group of anelida. That is the hirudine. Hirudine. Example of hirudine is hirudu. Leech. Leech. 
Lilichis, Hirudo, Medicinest. Then we are also going to talk about the Mollusca. The Mollusca are also an important group of animals and they are also divided into three groups. The gastropod, we also have the pelycopods and the cephalopods. So let's talk about the gastropod, gastropoda, gastropoda, gastropoda. Example of the gastropoda is the land snail. Land snail. That is a gastropod. So this is a typical example of gastropoda. 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 So another group of mollusca is pelycopoda. Pelycopoda. That is another group. An example is a oyster. I believe we all know oyster. While the last group of mollusks is the cephalopoda. Cephalopoda. That is the last group of mollusks. An example of this is octopus. Octopus is an example of a cephalopoda. So now we we'll move to one of the largest, the largest group of animal kingdom. The largest group, not even one of the largest group. The arthropoda. So when you talk about the arthropoda, arthropoda, the arthropoda is subdivided into four main groups. Let's say we have the trilobit, trilobita, that is the extinct group. The trilobita have gone into extinction. Extinct. The trilobita have gone into extinction. So we're going to talk about three main groups that are still alive today. We have the crustaceans, we have the, after the crustaceans, we have the chelicerata, and lastly we have the, so let's say we have the crustaceans, we have the chelicerata, chelicerata, and lastly, we have the uniremia. Uniremia. Those are the four main groups of articles. Trilobita, those are the sophion, crustaceans, chelicerata, and the uniremia. So under the crustaceans, we have three main groups of crustaceans. We have the branchiopoda. Branchiopoda. Branchiopoda, example is the water fleas. They are found in aquatic environment. Water fleas. We have the Maxillopoda. Maxillopoda. Those are Banacus. Example is the Banacus. We also have the last group, Malacostraca. The Malacostraca are shrinks, water shrinks. Shrinks. That is an example of Malacostraca. Then Chelicerata is divided into two main groups. The Chelicerata is divided into the Meristomata and the Arachnida. So let, let's have it as two groups. Under Chelicerata, we have two groups. We have Meristomata. Meristomata. 
Mary's tomato. Example. Example of Mary's tomato is horseshoe crab. Horse shoe crab. Then we also have the anelida. Uh, sorry. A uh, uh, arash leader. Arash leader. Arash leader. Example is spider. Example of arash leader is spider. Then the last group of the arthropod is the uniremia, and the uniremia is divided into three main groups. So under the uniremia, we have the diplopoda, we have the chilopoda. So let's say the uniremia is divided into three main groups. So we have the diplopoda, we have the diplopoda. We have an example of diplopoda is the millipede that we all know. The millipede. We also have the chilopoda. Chilopoda. That is the centipede. Centipede. And we also have the insecta. The insecta. Insecta. Example is the housefly. Housefly. So now we are moving to the echinoderms. So under the echinodermata, we have two main groups of the echinodermata. We have the stellaroidae. We have the stellaroidae. Example is the asteras. Asteras. And we have the second group called the echino, echinodae. The echinodae, example is echinocardium. Echinocardium. That is the group of echinodermata. Then the last one now is the codet. The codet are divided into two main groups, subphylum. We have a uh, subphylum vertebrata. This is we have subphylum vertebrata. Subphylum vertebrata and subphylum protocodit. So let's say this is our codet. So we have one group here and we have another group here. So under the codet, we have some phylum protocodata, protocodata, protocodata. So under the protocodata, we have three main groups. We have the hemicodata, hemicodata. Example, balanoglossus. Balanoglossus. We have the Eurocodata. Eurocodata. Example is Sayuna. Sayuna. And we have lastly the Cephalocodata. Cephalocordata. An example is branchiostoma. 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 Then the last group, now the most advanced group of animal kingdom are the vertebrata. Vertebrata. Under the vertebrata, we have Six main groups. There's this place to contain it. So under the vertebrata, let me shift this one up. So we have our codata. Let me 
100 power adapter we have the protocodit and we have the vertebrata we have the vertebrata this is our vertebrate vertebrata so under the vertebrata now we have five main groups the first group is the agnata agnatans those are the lampreys we also have the pisces fishes tilapia fish eg tilapia we have the amphibians amphibians the toad toad we also have the reptiles reptiles that is the lizard lizard snakes then we have the apes apes the apes eg pigeon bed bed then finally we have the mammoths mammoths eg man so that though, that is the you know group of animal kingdom so let me add the code now we have the first group of porifera the porifera is divided into cast spongy cast spongy hyalo spongy as well as the demo spongy so those are the three groups of porifera those are the three groups of porifera they will move to the colentrata the colentrata are divided into three groups the hydrosua the skyphosua as well as the anthosua they will move to the tubularium the tubularium the platyhemides rather the platyhemides are divided into tubularians trematoda as well as cestoda then we move forward to the uh, nematoda we have the second ente. example is the ascaris and the the Aphasmi, that is the adenophorin, example is the enopus. They will move to the anelida. The anelida is also divided into three groups. The polychit, example is the Brist Bristol worm. We have the oligochit, example is the earthworm. And we have the hero, example is the leech. Then we also talk about the mollusk. The mollusk is also divided into three groups. We have the gastropoda. Example is the land snake. We also have the helicopoda, oyster, and another important group, which is the uh, cephalopoda. Example is octopus. They will move to the arthropoda. The arthropoda is divided into four main groups. The trilobit, trilobita has gone into extinction. They are the extinct group of arthropods. And the three available groups, the sulfylum, are sulfylum crustacea. We also have sulfylum chelicerata. So the chelicerata is divided into three. The crustacea is divided into three. The uniramia as well is also divided into three. So we have the uniramia. So when we talk about the crustacean, the crustacean is divided into branchiopoda. We have three groups of crustacean. Branchiopoda, example, is the water flea. We have the maxiopoda, example, is the barnacles. Then we also have the malacostraca, example, is the water shrimps. Then under the Chelicerata, we have the Meristomata, example is the Osho crab. We also have the Arachnida. 
that is the spider family. They will move to the neuremia. The neuremia is divided into three main groups. We have the diplopoda. We also have the chilopoda. Example of diplopoda is millipede. Example of chilopoda is centipede. And also the insecta. Example of insecta is housefly. Those are the group of neuremia. And we have the echinoderms. The echinodermata is divided into two main groups. We have the stellaridae and the echinodae. They are not common. Then the last group are the chordates. The chordates is divided into two subphylum, the subphylum vertebrata and subphylum protocordates. So under the protocordates, we have three main groups. We have the, the hemicordate, that is example baranoglossus. We have the eurocordate. We have the eurocordate, example is the cyanide. And we also have the cephalocordate. Cephalocordate example is a branchiostoma. Then the last group, the most advanced group are the vertebrata, and we have the jawless, the agnatans. The jawless. Example of the agnatan is the lamprey, e.g., lamprey, lamprey, the lampreys. Then we have the fishes, that is the pisces, example is the tilapia fish. Then we have the Amphibians, example is the toad, the frog, they are amphibians. Then the reptiles, we have the lizard, the snakes. Then we have the eels, the eels consist of the birds, pigeon, domestic fowl, hawk, and lastly the mammoths. The mammoths consist of the rat, dog, man, and so many other animals. So this is a sketch of the animal kingdom. All groups, all five of animal are represented as well as their class with examples. So this is the sketch of animal kingdom. So this sketch was designed by me. Let me put my name there. Thank you.